Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago. It is Monday, August 2nd, and this is take two. That is, in a, <laughs> in a, from a guy who is not very tech savvy, we've had precious little tech difficulties. Today was one of them. Complete user error. About 10 minutes ago, I prayed through morning prayer and my microphone was off. And so I will try to repeat all that I had just said. Um, but uh, it is it is Monday morning. Uh, just a few announcements before we begin. Worship this evening at St. John, 6.45 p.m. Uh, special joy for our congregation. Yesterday at St. John's Lutheran Church in Liberty, Illinois, a daughter of our congregation, Brooke Beal, was installed as a teacher, and we pray that God would bless her and her ministry at St. John's. This Thursday, 11.30 a.m., the 55 and over group at St. John's is gathering for a cookout. There still is room. Please send me a note if that's something you are going to attend this Thursday, 11.30 a.m. With that morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. One of the blessings of serving the vacancy over the past months was there were there were certain weekends where as a pastor you took part in uh, all or portions of six worship services. Now, to be sure, there were some difficulties that accompanied that, but but one of the things I learned, um, one of the things I learned to appreciate was um, how many times uh, when you worship repeatedly in a weekend, something would strike you that didn't get you at the first service or, or hit you in a different way. One of my brother pastors uh, not long ago uh, made a comment well this is this is how the word of the lord works this is this is god's promise that the the seed that he sows does not return to him empty but i was just thinking specifically this past weekend um after saturday worship and the services yesterday how the prayer of the day the 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 short punchy prayer at the beginning of the word section which is meant to encapsulate and summarize the theme of the day just how uh, just how poignant it was this weekend and to the point and 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 so so much richness and comfort there so so for our devotion today the prayer of the day it starts like this o lord jesus christ Preserve the congregation of believers with your never-failing mercy. To be sure, the Lord opens his hand and preserves all sorts of people, believers and unbelievers alike. He tells us that the unbelievers eat from his hand, that he sends rain on their fields as well, even if they don't acknowledge them. But with this specific prayer, we ask that God would bless the congregation of believers, the gathering of those who trust in Jesus, that is the Holy Christian Church, the communion, the community of saints, with unfailing mercy, never failing mercy, a love that will not fail you today or any day. Let that gospel comfort wrap itself around you and, and trap it into your noggins. The never failing mercy of the Lord will guard and protect his Holy Christian Church today as always. The prayer continues. Help us avoid whatever is wicked and harmful. You think of the things God says are wicked and harmful for you, and you pray that God would keep them from you. Pastor Berg, in his Lord's Prayer Bible study yesterday, mentioned one of the hardest prayers to pray is that part of the Lord's Prayer when we pray, Thy will be done, Lord, because with that prayer, we are also specifically praying against anything in our will which goes against the will of our good and gracious Lord, that the Lord would break it and defeat it. 
O Lord, keep away from us whatever is wicked and harmful. The prayer continues. And guide us in the way that leads to our salvation. Well, you know that way. Jesus has made that way known to you. Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Keep us from that which harms and is wicked. Guide us to that which saves, that is Jesus. And in doing so, the Lord continues to preserve the congregation of believers with his never-failing mercy. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, preserve the congregation of believers with your never-failing mercy. Help us avoid whatever is wicked and harmful, and guide us in the way that leads to our salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. In all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Have a blessed day. Is Jesus my Redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy. Steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus. For my life is wholly bound to His. Oh, how strange and divine I can see. Savior.